Fuck's sake, I need 14 television screens. This is getting silly. Okay, good stuff. Oh, come on, where's the right button? That's the right button. This is awesome. By the way, we are actually live right now and everybody can hear this. I'm just going to fuck it. I'm just going to talk over the whole Why the fuck not? Balls it up this far. Hey! Balls up! <laughs> How you doing, folks? Tab is back and as professional as ever. Slash. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, okay. Tab is back and yeah, Zane's as professional as ever. Slash. Mr. D, how you doing, son? <laughs> Ah, uh, oh, there we go. We have chat. We have Zarak. We have Jay. How you doing, folks? Stu, give us a wave. Gasp. Positively lethargic of you, son. I'm, I'm not sure I can accept that. Mr. K, how you doing? Ah, not too bad. I'm wondering why I'm doing the whole like, let's be professional of introductions and kid on we like each other thing when I completely fucked this up right from the start. I mean, like, why am I even bothering anymore? <laughs> Absolutely. fucking lootly Snake Oil! Jelly and Badger, how you doing, though? I hear you've been taking my friends out and getting them really fucking stocious. Uh, Zarak says we can't hear the others. Fuck. Abort. Abort. Why not? That is weird. <laughs> hey, okay. Why can't you hear them? That makes no sense. Let's, let's see what we can do about that. I I see no reason why you wouldn't be able to hear them. Fuck! Oh well, there you go. That was tonight's show, folks. Thanks for hanging out. Um, bollocks. Okay, let me see, let me see, let me see. Oh, aye. Oh, aye, that'll go well. If it's any consolation, folks, you're missing fucking gold. That's a lot of hilarious right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. What the fuck do I need to do? How do we fix this? My god, here we go. Fucking tech support at best. Speakers line out. Oh. Mr. K, give me a one two or something. Okay, yeah, I am seeing absolutely fuck all on that. That's weird. Let me see what can we do to fix that. Fuck sake. How can it be? Ha <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> ah, shit, man. <laughs> ah, this is much more interesting, obviously. Fucking me sitting here staring at screens. Uh, why? Oh, okay. I'll tell you one thing, guys. You think you've seen fucking Zane Rage before? Just, I just watch that screen for the next five minutes. You're going to see it fucking hit all new sites. Thanks, I've never seen that before. This is going to be interesting. Okay, it's obviously not that, because if I do that now, I can't hear you. Check speakers. What do you mean check speakers? The speakers are fine. I can hear them. I can hear them talking in my fucking ears. Somebody else that can not hear them. Who said that? Right, will you stop playing the fucking Skype tune? Thank you. Son of a bitch. Make a free test call. Aye, because that's going to fucking help me. But that's weird. Did you arrange this? Are you fucking winding me up? <laughs> no, no use. Yeah. I no use chat. So let's just pretend we got here anyway. I need my producer. Hmm? Fuck off, you can't hear. That's it, nothing else. Okay, this stream is officially delayed. We will be back in a minute because I think I'm going to have to kill this fucking Skype call, start the whole thing from scratch, and... Do you know what? This would be a good time for the awkward pause, really, wouldn't it? We'll just get it done and done with. Just get it out there. Nah, fuck that.
Oh yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'll need to tune. <laughs> C B flap E A. What scale was that? We have How sound. We have sound. We have sound. One, two, one, two. <sighs> Do we now have a, a full complement of bell ends? We have absolutely everything we need to run a, a successful podcast, apart from conf competence and yeah, uh, ability. That sounds like a lot of podcasts. So oh, 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 shit, and talent. Aye. <laughs> It could be worse. I mean, we could actually be like broadcasting this live right now so that everybody can hear. I've not actually checked chat to see that they can hear me, but I'm pretty sure they can. But you know, like fucking. Half yes, they can. Us. They're very, they're very much hearing all their dulcet fucking tones. They can hear us just sitting here talking fucking nonsense. I think so. I don't know if D knows though, because we maybe want to make sure if D wants to come in on our story about like going for a piss or whatever yeah. it was last time. <laughs> I'm just glad the sound wasn't working five minutes ago when we were talking about them, but you know, I'll do. <laughs> do all the decks in chat, I know. <laughs> I think you've got the audacity to do the intro again. <laughs> yes, and we're still talking over the top of it. Because yeah, exactly. that's the way we fucking roll. <laughs> Welcome to the party, bitch! <laughs> Sludge! Flange, oh, indeed. Big sludge. Hey. So, uh, what went wrong there? Fuck knows, we'll never know. It's one of those it's mysteries mystery. that will be just kind of given, it'll be told, you'll be telling your grandchildren about it. How no idea that? why, I mean, that's on you. If your life's that sad, you need to tell your grandchildren about the time we didn't have sound, then I mean, there's no hope for you. But, you know, that's the way things go sometimes. <laughs> 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 they can edit it out, lol. Well, we fuck. So I'll stay in, that. that is gold. Fucking, yeah. <laughs> How not to do it, 101. Oh my god, bad singing. Who's bad singing? That, oh, was, off <laughs> that was awesome, Zarek. Which, whoa. How you doing, folks? In here with... Snake Oil. With the Tab Crew. With D, who's partner quite good. But talked about it way too long for us to go over all of that again. Mr. K up in the corner. Stoogie's another wave. Cheers, son. Right. This game. Sorry, Zane, I need to point out that in the chat that Zarak has started again as if it never happened and says, hey guys. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Nice good work, sir. Good work. <laughs> this I'm game, happy. Snake Oil, played it before, so we should all be up on it. I'm also trying to click on the stream that's not the stream rather than the game. That's going to cause problems all day. I guess I'm just throwing cursors about all over the fucking place now. <sighs> Nothing Smash. different there, bud. Such a nice relaxing day as well. <laughs> it was, it's just, yeah. Suddenly it all goes to shit, and I've just, I don't know. I don't use guys, I've just fucking lost the way to live. In fact, tell you what, here, okay, do my favour, Roy. Mm -hmm. There you go, take over. <laughs> What's really creepy about that is how big my head is in comparison to yours. It's like, it's like an ABBA video or some shit. Hold on, come, come back in, come back in. I'll put them in all four quarters, will you? <laughs> Just have hammers, everyone. After the love is gone. <laughs> right, God, fuck off out of my space. Get out of your home. Technically in your room, but out of my space. That is, <laughs> that is awesome. That is freaky. <laughs> <laughs> I think ah. the jazz hands are going to get you. Okay, one of these times we'll all actually get ready to play the game. Snake Oil, if you've not seen it before... What the fuck are you doing yeah, on this channel? We've this already done a video podcast. and you didn't watch it. That's just fucking wrong. 
point of this game is on each of these blue cards is an occupation. One of the people around this table will have that occupation. The other three people are snake oil salesmen and need to try and sell them something to do with their occupation. And that person who I first mentioned who has the occupation, say occupation again, motherfucker. They decide who wins, alright? And then it just keeps moving on for there and it, hopefully it's funny. And if it isn't, they will... Fuck it. Much did you pay for this? Uh... In order for them to actually pick the cards, in order for them to actually pick the occupy, uh, pick what they're going to sell, they pick two cards out of this deck that they will be given at random. I've not actually given them their cards yet. I should probably do that as well. We're so fucking organised. Aye. Yes. That does explain the chafing. Oh my god, I did it. I counted to ten. Right. Uh, who wants to go first? I want to get this fucking clock out my face is what I wanted to do. Alright, how do you set a cards again? Clock. Uh, toggles. <coughs> unlock. Bye, clock. <laughs> uh, <laughs> clock. It's now upside down. Fuck off. Clock's gone. Tonight we are playing with no time limits. This game could go on until at least <laughs> oh, Sunday. Who knows? Let's see. Yep. That is a likelihood. Telling you, man, most professional fucking stream I've done yet. I am just bumped. Loving it. Reputation is just right down the toilet with this one. Okay! We have ten cards each. Uh, fuck it, Stu, you like to be. Aye. I better. I better. We better, we better shuffle these first because the first one is Old Lady and you've already done that voice. So. <laughs> you like to be is what he was getting at. <laughs> Uh, we'll stick an occupation, big man, and we'll figure out what the hell we're trying to sell you. Alright, how do I do that for a start? <laughs> nope, uh, nope, nope, it's a, a, a quick, quick, click. quick click and drag. There you go, uh -huh. professional. How do I look at my cards again? <laughs> oh, sorry, oh, and you're all over. <laughs> Yay, pyromaniac. Oh, that's right in my face. I've never used that before. How did you look at them before? They just kind of popped out from the pack. <laughs> Ladies. <laughs> uh, okay, that didn't even make sense, but fuck it, it's worth. I, oh Christ, too many screens, too many buttons, too little time. <laughs> no, you 12 Robert hit your, your Z zooms in, I think, or whatever. Native J, thank you. Yes, I forgot something. This game could quite easily become really offensive. <coughs> and, well, to be fair, if you've not been offended by the last five minutes of just, <laughs> well, me swearing my fucking face off, then you, you, you should be prepared for what you're going to get. This may get a bit dry, it may get a bit cutting, and it may get a bit um, non-PC, shall we say. If that's not your bag, all respect to you. I'll see you in the next stream, and yeah, fuck off. Yeah. Prince advisory. <laughs> and so I make it Oh, you're so, ready, Alan. Uh, on. Pyromaniac. What do we have for a pyromaniac? What do we have for a pyromaniac? Oh, we've got a call. Pyro. I'm guessing that uh, you could say using my logic of rubbishness here, but anything to be Pyrex would be good. Pirates or Pyrex? Pyrex, the glass shit. But if you want Pyrex as well, I'll happily uh, take some of that. Um... <laughs> I've already started with nothing. My life is going to be completely full of nothing, <laughs> and it's just going to be a fucking nothing. Um, it's gonna be bad, it's gonna be bad. Of course it's just, gonna be bad, we'll be fine. Just pick two randoms, that'll work. Just warm it up, sludge. If somebody pulls out pocket elevator again, I'm gonna fucking murder <laughs> somebody. Yes! Bitch drainies. Every time. And of course... I love the way everybody's recalling my fucking picks before it's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I will say... Just like last time, there is absolutely no reason that I picked Stu, apart from the fact that we go clockwise and therefore D first, then K, and then I get to go last. <laughs> it's coincidence. Absolute coincidence. How'd I flip the cards over again? F. F, F to fucking up and yeah, flip. F ah, to that's flip. It. Oh, 
Oh, must, he must have good cards if he's going through them. I've got fucking nothing here. No, 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 that's, that's how you read. <laughs> <laughs> um, sweet Jesus, I don't know what I've got here. Um, Close your eyes and pick two. That worked the last time. That's the same time you said that to me last time, I don't even remember, so... Yeah, well, somebody got a benefit out of it. Master, <laughs> Master B Badger, how you doing, son? I did not even see you slip in here during all that nonsense or the technical difficulties. Hope you're well. I, I think we've uh, blown minds by having too many Badgers. Have we got two Badgers in the, the We had once? two Badgers earlier, I don't know where the other Badger went to, but... Oh. That, that, would cause, that would cause problems. Hopefully, uh, hopefully like, Jay doesn't freak the fuck out and start a call. <laughs> it's like end of the universe stuff, that. Is it? How we doing, Mr. K? I've asked how to pick, fuck's sake, alright, um, I don't know. <laughs> uh, Congratulations, you know your alphabets. Oh, we'll have to get two badgers, oh shit. Better keep that pair separated. <laughs> we need to start a call. <laughs> Um, <laughs> you do realise this isn't like the name of your first child, like <laughs> yeah, I generally, I generally don't have anything worth doing at all here. Um, <laughs> all right, fuck it, this will this will be something or other. I'll accept bravery. That goes Sweet. Down. Start a cult, more like. <laughs> appropriate. I would totally join the cult of Badger. Either one That's... of those would be very good cults. Very cool cults. That's a really difficult sentence to say and yeah. <laughs> as long as you get a spare liver where you can join the cult of Badger, I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still in fucking pain. Can I've got a Baraka right man? here, so it's good. Stuart's, <laughs> Stuart's table avatar looks like the shittest superhero ever. No, surely <laughs> that's the that's do you know that's Green Lantern? Or Ant-Man. Ooh. Oh, I like Ant-Man. Leave Ant-Man the fuck alone. <laughs> it's a nice size drawing. Oh, what do you want? Gives the folk at home a bit of a, a, an eye film. <laughs> <laughs> an eye film of what? Pirate Stick Stick man. Miss Stick, Sweetie. Stick man with goggles. That's all you need. Oh shit, the wife's here. Oh. Panic. Run. <laughs> Run away, the wife's here. Uh, wait. <laughs> Who the fuck's going for us? D! What cards are the people? Sell this pyromaniac something useful. Coming right up, sir. Thank you very much for the introduction. Okay, so what I was thinking was as the a, a pyromaniac, one of the kind of problems that you've got is the kind of the opportunity for actually burning stuff comes up. I mean, theoretically, you could set fire to a lot of shit but um sometimes you want to have a little bit of practice um because you go out you kind of set fire to something and then it's like oh shit that went wrong what could have done better you want to go back to base and practice so what i was thinking of you want something kind of severe that represents let's i mean you don't want like paper anybody can burn paper i can burn paper you can burn paper your child can burn paper and probably does so you want to set something a little bit more, oh, I don't know, risky on fire. So what I'm going to introduce to you that I've got for sale tonight is the pet table. That's right. I'm offering you the opportunity to burn any pet that you wish, day or night. Do you want to burn a hamster? <laughs> yes, I can do that. Do you want to burn a cat? Your why, of course, sir, we can do that. How about a dog? What kind of dog do you want? It's as simple as that. It's the pet table. You can set fire to a fucking giraffe if it's your pet. I present you the pet table. All right. Next. Stun you know silence what? fills the room. Yes. Uh, the worst <laughs> thing about that is I'm looking at it going, that's fucking ridiculous until I remember what the fuck I'm presenting. <laughs> um, I do agree that with uh, my esteemed colleague's view there of sometimes you just want to burn some shit. <gasps> well, obviously you've been a pyromaniac, you want to burn shit all the time. Um, what if though... You did have a pet table and you think, that's a great idea. I can just go and grab any old pet, you know, cheer pet, you know, pet shop boys, that kind of thing. problem you're going to have with that is that you're going, I've got no way you can throw this when it's out of hand. You can burn the whole place down, have a fantastic time, get a wee semi, magic, 
then you realise that it's all gone tits up and there's nothing you can do about it. And then you think to yourself, if only I had with a flip key. <laughs> the rain finger. This thing's magical. See those times you just go, I've went too far, I've made a mistake, you just point at shit, <laughs> fountain of water, puts that shit out. Then all you need to do is wait to dry it out and you can burn it again. Absolute luxury. Everyone you could want. It's got the uses. You could use it with a pet table if you wanted, but you can use it literally anywhere. Generates its own rain. Magic. Told you. Just like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. That. We have a pet table and a, a rain finger. I would love to say I'm going to save this round with some absolute gold, but uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't think that's going to happen. I think we could be in trouble here. Yep. So, Mr. Stroke Miz, Stroke Mrs. Stroke Pyromaniac, insert gender here. Uh, we, <laughs> we, what we have for you today is... The, <laughs> what the fuck is that? That's a fire dog. He's got an actual fire dog on the pet table. You're taking that too far. What we have for you today <laughs> is the ultimate in fire spread Asian technology. <laughs> Not sure what spreadation actually means, but yeah, we'll go with it. I, I do have to ask one question before we go any further. Have you played the game Worms? Yes. I like how you decided he's a German pyromaniac. <laughs> yes. 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 I, I, I believe you have. I believe you played it in this very channel. That's not a plug, but there you go. Go check it out, guys. It was really funny. Um, <laughs> we have... In the, in the game Worms, you have the exploding sheep. Yes, that's right. You have the sheep. What would be better than an exploding sheep? Well, see, this is the thing. problem with an exploding sheep is it just goes off once. What you really need is something that you can just set out there and it just goes and goes and goes and goes. What this sheep does is you let it out of your house. It will go up roaming about. It will go through other people's houses. It will go absolutely nuts. As it's doing so, it is that whole time it is going to be excreting some really highly flammable lube. Yes, we have a lube sheep. This thing will just go and go and go and all you do is set a hod to the other end. It is the ultimate and you can take out whole streets, you can take out whole cities in one go. Well, if you've got a big enough sheep, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I give you... Me very. <laughs> I, <laughs> I give you the lube sheep. This thing just keeps... Yeah. Yeah. I've got nothing. Uh... Oh. <laughs> Flange? It, yeah, flange. Thank you. Someone want to take his take his yeah rebuttals. I, believe. I have no rebuttals for any of this. I like all your products equally because they're all shit as each other. So can can I not buy anything? Usually, I would love um, kind of sentences, phrases, uh, scenarios, and situations that involve the words lube and sheep. But when it comes to a pyromaniac. <laughs> I don't feel that's the the kind of the the, the most um, kind of valuable item one could have in their arc. <coughs> um, and yes, you know, I you said, mentioned if you tried to put it on the pet table, it'd be hard to catch. I did say Arsenal. Sorry, what? Not to mention if you tried to put it on your pet table, it'd be a bastard to catch. It would be the the. Pet I mean, all I can all I can say to that is you can't see because you don't dare to dream. The, the pet table doesn't come with lube. In fact, it comes with anti-lube technology. The reason being is so the pet doesn't actually squirm, slip or slide away from you when you're setting it the fuck on fire. So you can um, go in dry. Exactly. <laughs> Which, as we all know, is the only way to go in. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think the... the yeah, I, I, I think Kay, you maybe suffered from the same problem I did, is for some reason I, lack like, of imagination. Thought some, I thought something, well I went with the, the I went for the lube sheep at first thinking <laughs> like this thing can just run about excreting lube and put out fires all over the place and thinking I thought why am I doing that, he's a pyromaniac and the rain finger I think kind of falls into the same kind of problem of yeah you're trying to sell him something that just defeats the purpose of that man's very existence. But their so, products are for when shit goes too far. You know, I, I, I'm, I, I'm not saying we just kind of maybe kind of fucked up on this one and he should win it. I'm just kind of saying, like, 
that you know <laughs> lube shapes fucking awesome man it's just it's, what more do you want like i want it for what, so many other things yeah tell so you what you don't want to, you you don't want it to use you don't, you don't want to use it to set fires that's absolutely fine fuck it literally it's ready lubed up and everything Oh jeez. Okay, uh, our German pyromaniac friend, what's the what's the what's the skinny? What? It's not a rain finger, it is shit. <laughs> the Jamaican now? Constant any accent when it comes to mind, I don't give a shit. My accent's always falling to Indian for no reason. <laughs> don't worry about it. Well it goes into Indian. Everything goes into Indian. Um Rain finger just sounds crud. Why would I want to put my mistakes? You just want to burn shit regardless. Um <laughs> I love what you're applying the logic here. This is fantastic. Yeah. I've got I've got to apply logic to the shape that's just been offered. I've got to make it worthwhile to the, the, the accountant to go look. Um, <laughs> <myself>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the look is no, not for me. Uh, so yeah, I have to be a pet table, even though it's a bag of shit, I'll just burn the whole fucking lot. <laughs> Thank you, bag of shit. I'll burn the lot. In fact, I'll just torch all three of you. I'll have the pleasure from doing that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very good response. Just sit hard to the table and get the fuck out of here. Be fine. Oh. <laughs> uh... Oh shit! That's see this. This this is not good. This is not the game table. This is the this is like this is what people are seeing. Yeah. Let's maybe yeah, put that back. <laughs> Oh, the quake! <laughs> also, there is a wee uh, shit. What button is it? How did I? Get... Mm. Is this a fucking cold irony? The fact that we've all got stickmen on our tables and I've got the smallest stickman. Is this somebody saying some shit? <laughs> me saying exactly what was needed to be said. I say it's life size representations of us all. <laughs> some weird ass form. Okay, I uh, yeah, right, I, I look like Mario before he gets the mushroom. Fuck, I keep doing that. All right. Oh, okay, this screen. Stop it, babe. I'm supposed to be in control here. No, you're not. You're definitely not. <laughs> That's not even true, slightly. Never been true. Who won that round? Did you take your card? Yes, you Stop did. It's played. And of course, tip. if you used up two cards in the last round, feel free to take another two cards and toss them in the bin because they're probably shite. Don't oh. shake the table. Too late. <laughs> <laughs> that shit has passed. Definitely too late. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not Zane Zen tonight. Nope, Zane Zen. Zane Zen. Yeah. I am a mad scientist. <laughs> Zane Zen. Even. A mad scientist. I believe we've done this one last time, didn't we? Fuck I we did. Yep. You ready to flash that card and go oh. again? No, let's. Ah, oh, fuck it. I don't know. Catch Gary Carr, see if there's any inspiration. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jesus, that's bad. Okay, fine. Hey, dogs pack uh, up blocks, so Stuart. Zane, yeah, I've, just, I've decided after the last round, there's no point in thinking about it. <laughs> just fucking go with it. <laughs> <laughs> There's a right. lack of quality assurance in this entire game, so I'm not too worried about it. We have a full house, so I'm going to invite Mr. K to go first. We have a full house? Alright, so you're a mad scientist, and I'm working on some assumptions here. You could be the mad scientist who wants to kill everybody. You could be the mad scientist that wants to make the world a better place. You could even be the mad scientist that wants to figure out how you can make Pop-Tarts without ripping your fucking mouth open when you eat them. Or... You could just want everybody to have a good time. You've designed a bomb and you're going, I feel like Oppenheimer here, I'm sitting, sitting thinking, I don't want to kill everybody. What can I do with this bomb that will give everybody a good time? And I've designed a weapon that will tune into you, basically hooks into your existing bomb technology and gives it a little pep, gives people a little bit of joy. I present to you the orgasm nuke. You strap this bad boy on, and I mean strap on, you fire that shit into a city. I mean, it gets me. He's pretty happy about it. The only thing I would recommend is you buy stocks and cigarettes for afterwards and probably some munchies. I give you the orgasm nuke. (laughs) 
I wasn't. I can tell if you were clapping there. It was a really slow moving tumbleweed. <laughs> I'll go through them. Who is it? Okay. I'm not saying. Oh, look at this. I'm fucking uh, coming off. Getting. Oh, business is coming <laughs> off. Jesus. Mr. Lover Man. Shabba. Because this needs the full sell. Because this is just genius. This is genius. This is practical. This is so down to earth that. There is absolutely no way you could not need or want this particular item. This Zane, is if you start sort of, cosplaying, seriously. This in a game where you will see all sorts of ridiculousness being thrown at your head, and people are going, "You need to buy this. This is the thing that you really need." It's all fucking bullshit, and it's just people trying to be silly with words. You are a mad scientist. You create a lot of blueprints. A lot of those things may or may not work. What you really need is one of these. You need a paper basket just to. Thing to throw your waste into. Absolutely fucking practical as fuck. You cannot deny it. Next. Uh, that, that's a low blow. Low blow. Ah, oh, dearie me. Right. I've got it's a... good. I'd buy it. It's a viable got... product. <laughs> I've got to try and pull everyone out of shit here. Great. Um, oh, you. What you say? That was genius. A paper basket. You call right. that genius. Do you know what? So genius, it actually fucking exists. Next. How is it exists in this land? We're selling the shit out of it. <laughs> the best thing. Fucking lose, mate. I've lost already. I'm just I'm, I'm building it up to, to take a distraction away. Um, best thing about being a mad scientist is the wicked laugh that you have. <laughs> People have no idea whether you're sane. Going slightly off the edge, a genius, maybe even full blown Looney Tunes. So, the best thing I can give you, which will make your laugh the most immense laugh ever and freak the fuck out of people, <laughs> is a full amplification. I give you the gale chair. You sit in this bad boy and think your ideas and you laugh, it gets magnified 10, 15, 20, even 100 times more than you could ever imagine. It goes global and they hear your laugh. And they just think, who is this mad fucker? <laughs> and you're just going to sit there with the biggest smile on your face going, it's me, get up, <laughs> I give you the giggle chair. <laughs> the giggle chair is good. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to loss on that one. Do we have any rebuttals? I mean, personally, I have to say, if somebody tries to offer me a giggle chair, they would, uh, as far as I'm concerned, that just means they're insulting my natural already volumetric fucking mad scientist <laughs> laugh I, well, I mean I, I think that's just frankly an insult you see in the land of the mad scientist who is a genius in his own right there's no way he's going to be using paper he'll be digitalizing everything so a paper exactly, basket so he can put the paper in the paper useless. basket he's got he no paper there's no paper required don't even chuck it out he just <laughs> ditch <laughs> don't yeah, it. The paper basket you, is would, worthless would, what do you do with paper you don't need? You put it in a paper basket. Case closed. Who the hell's got a paper basket? Unless it's one made out of paper, then it's something different. Can I can I make a suggestion, guys? Just as a my rebuttal, can I suggest that the giggle chair and the orgasm note get strapped together and become the ultimate device? <laughs> <laughs> and if anybody wants to say in a kind of complaint, we can put a paper basket on the back of it. We've actually just got a fucking business here. Survival oh, product. I will totally buy one of them. Uh, <laughs> orgasm nuke. Sounds awesome. Nobody needs it, I'll be I, honest with you. Like, yeah, I... Uh, struggling to see what it has to do with a, a mad scientist. Paper <laughs> brusher. Uh, but, you know... <laughs> <laughs> Nothing said mad bastard like a fucking well-organised mad scientist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. I, uh... <laughs> okay, if I may interject. So you became you become Northern Irish at this point. <laughs> I know you're da. Um, <laughs> Careful with that. <laughs> so as a mad scientist, um, so Kay's argument was uh, making assumptions. I mean, as a scientist, we'd never make assumptions. I mean, you will never make a scientist. It's as simple as that. And then you want to I'm make the world a better salesman. place. Then you want to make the world a better place. I am also happy to report. I'm not Michael Jackson. So, 
to the paper basket. And I initially I wanted to actually just glaze over this with no commentary whatsoever. Because that's what it deserves. Literally no comments whatsoever. But then we asked the, 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 the question, what do you do with paper? And having last seen a pyromaniac in this game, I would suggest the pyromaniac <laughs> have better dealt with the paper. So that moves us on to the reigning champion, Stu Pot, Stu Shakur, Stu Limited. Giggle on, chair. Now, the giggle chair. If you knew what a mad scientist was about in his <laughs> laugh, then you knew there was no giggling about it. It's more of a, I want to say cackle, but that's like witchy type stuff. But what it isn't, is it's not a fucking giggle. <laughs> There's only one invention on this table this evening, and that is the orgasm nuke. Yay! I've no idea why, but yay! I think because you can use it for nefarious dudes. Deeds. Dudes. Nefarious dudes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> flip that shit. Flip that shit. My cards aren't yo, flipping. Shit, My yo, cards are no fuck. longer behaving. Is anybody having any right. connection issues with the cards? I seem to have right. connection to the game. I duffed up there. I had a deal by mistake, so somebody uh, lost my card. Apologies. It's all good. D, I, I have no interaction with my cards. Card. There we go. Back in your tech, gentlemen. My game seems to have freaked the fuck out. Huh? That's what you get yeah. for winning. Two seconds. Okay, interruption. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I don't know how much, but I know I love you. <laughs> I'm back. Play. Uh, good stuff. Thank you for that. <clears throat> What's also good is that actually I never got that nap punch through bollocks this time, so I actually just couldn't do that. <laughs> it just worked. Right, okay. The game table is over here. The screen is over here. Fucking get it right, Zane. Uh, yeah. D, thanks for the courtesy card there. I appreciate that. You're welcome, Zane. Okay, what we got? It's a plan, man. Which one is you says what have we got? And I even scrolled over two cards that made a very funny answer to that question. Flip your shit. I am a conductor. You're a conductor? A post apocalyptic syphilis. A conductor. <laughs> a, con a conductor of post apocalyptic syphilis, yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Ah, oh, lordy. Oh, what? Wow. Okay. We've got... <laughs> hey, Houston, we're in the shite here. <laughs> Whitney Houston. <sighs> Bollocks. Are we gonna? Are, are, are we gonna? No, I'll just I'll keep it. It's all right. <laughs> I like I like running around because it means I can set the fuck out and not have to engage my brain in any meaningful way, which is joyous. <laughs> I'm just going to state now: this is the worst product ever. I've just wasted two amazing cards on a really shit response. <laughs> I fucking hate when that happens. Surely that's the purpose. Give me two seconds. I'm going to grab my fucking futon because I'm not elevated here. <laughs> I'm just like you can. Fuck, lost it. Do 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 there you go, I just... Sorry, I take it, take it away from you. Give me your rest. 
Uh, oh, we're back. We are back. Awesome. I get confused because I don't remember from looking at the stream, looking at the live board, or looking at that. I'm just fucking... Did somebody just let one go? <sighs> I think there's only one person can do that. <laughs> yeah. What a class act. You know what they say if you love them. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Me first, I believe so. Good day to you, sir. It's a tough job you've got there. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're out for all hours, travelling or in the town. Sorry, I, you look, you're looking a bit confused there. I, I presumed you were a busking doctor. <laughs> He's clearly an orchestral conductor. Where does it say that? On my unwritten speech that I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs> so as I say, it's a real hard job you've got there, especially on those double deckers up and down those stairs all day. I mean, like stairs that move just is a stupid thing in the first place, never mind anything else. I mean, that must just blow your mind on a, a daily basis. But there's nothing worse than when you get that midnight run home and everybody's absolutely drunk as fuck and there's just chips and kebab papers flying about all over the place and we shenga up the back there's getting fingered like hell nothing nothing you need to see when you want to get home at night it's absolutely terrible and when especially when they start giving you jip when they start giving you all that shit about oh i can't i bought my ticket i've got it here somewhere mate it's on i've got it in my pockets around here it's just i just give me a minute to have it mate and what you really want to do is get those folk to shut the fuck up and you can do that now you can do that now with the tongue shank one quick <laughs> smack with this and you will never hear from that wee neddy bastard ever again this might need some translation for the international people i don't um, but <laughs> where yeah. <to> start? <laughs> I, I'm sure you get the gist. Absolutely, just shut those fucking shell suited wee pricks up with one whack of the sh tongue shank. Sorted. Wow. I'm sold. <laughs> <laughs> Can I join your company? Because <laughs> what you're about to see isn't it, isn't it good news at all. <laughs> um, so yeah, you're you're going up and down public transport, dealing with different people. <laughs> You've got your pockets fully changed, you've got a machine around your neck, your hands are always busy, and your nose is going to be running all the time. And you've got nowhere to basically put that mess. Um, you know, it's running, your hanky's not there, you have to wipe your hands, you have nowhere to put it, you've got to deal with people. So what our company offers for um, public service and special people like yourself is a, a special brand of clothing. It gives um, a special area where you can put <laughs> your hands in, rub away any residue that you've built up from nasal or coughing or anything like that without passing on to the, the general public. Um, our product is the Booger Trousers. <laughs> very simple name, very straight to the point, and of course, um, yeah, I'm looking for a new job, so if you can buy these, that'd be fantastic. <laughs> uh, the... So, unlike the other two morons, um, <laughs> I recognise the fact that you're obviously a musical conductor. I don't know where the rest of the shit comes from, so... Um, and I'm sure you didn't actually literally, with, with being a con conductor in an orchestra and being kind of at least middle, probably upper class, let's face it, you probably didn't understand a single word of Zane's pitch. So <laughs> that at least puts me in second place at the very least. So I was kind of thinking, as a conductor, what you do, what you're responsible for, how people look at you, if they respect you, and started to wonder, do they? Do they respect you? I was thinking, I was casting my mind back to the different performances that I've seen kind of of musicals with orchestras in it and, and thinking, the same as everybody else, pretty much. And, and it was it went along the lines of, what the fuck is it you actually do in this band? So you <laughs> band. play the violins, the tubas, the trumpets, the drums, and the oboes, and the fucking cellos, and the double bass. And it's like, what the fuck is it you're doing in this band? And it's like you're looking at everybody and they've all got their music papers and they're looking at what they're supposed to be playing and then you look at you and you're like, what the 
fuck is it you're actually doing in this band? <laughs> and it struck me. You're the fucking guy at the end of the football selection process that nobody wanted to pick. You couldn't play an instrument. So you just thought, do you know what? I'll just stand here and do fuck all. So that's what your life is made up of, is fake lies and fuck all. So what I'd like to pre present to you is the acid razor. Just end it once and for all. Let's just do it. Get it done and over and done with. You're gone, acid razor, and then you're dust. Um, wow. So for some reason, D thought I was a music conductor. <laughs> um, and um, yeah, any rebuttals before we decide that's wrong? <laughs> I don't even want to work for the guy with acid razor. He's shy. No, he's basically trying to sell euthanasia at some point. <laughs> To be honest, when I saw the card at first, I thought music conductor and I thought it would just be twisted, but uh, yeah. Um, I mean, absolutely. I mean, you can buy the Acid Razor, I suppose. You'll only need to buy one. I guess that's the upside. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> it's snotty trousers. I mean, I, I don't know. I, I, th I think part of the part, part of the, the part of the fun of the job as a, a bus conductor is the fact that, you know, that we are so gives you hassle you can walk past them to take the tickets off the other person and then just kind of like just quietly fucking get your figures and just flick them at the back of his head so i, I think there's already oh, plenty of places all right 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 all <laughs> is that everybody done? Have we finished with this mad yeah, bastard? I've got a note. Aye, hurry up before I shank this pair. <laughs> um, right, so Acid Razor was terrifying and depressing, um, so none of that. Um, booger trousers, I don't know how much of a problem you have with boogers that that's actually something you need to own. Um, so I also think it sounds like a childish insult, so I'm going to give it to the tongue shank because even if his career, even if my career, I should say, as a conductor fails, I could all just go into Pearson's, so it's all good. Day. Yes. <laughs> Want to use a social man? <laughs> <laughs> I can use it. Mercy. You're Need more drink? Mad. Back to things. You're fucking mad in that, no? Pure fucking mental. I'd love to oh. do that. I'd love to do that. Same, but I'll probably come out as something offensive. <laughs> You're inadvertently doing an accent, so <laughs> yeah, that's the one I don't like. So it's probably being oh, on the East Coast. It. I am many cards down. How do I? Right, Eric, go. What we got? What we got? What we got? What we got? Don't know who's got the job. I've got the job. What's oh, the job? waiting, waiting for the, waiting for the, the, the waiting for the bus conductor to come back. Public transport conductor. Coverall so did you, did you actually think bus conductor as well, or did you just panic and I, change yours on the fly? I went for <laughs> my, no, my initial thinking was train. Ah, there you go. Then I switched it to being public transport. <laughs> I thought I'd cover all bases in case some weird ass death dealer was cutting around the corner. I was going to actually allow the, uh, the I was going to go the orchestral thing until he went really dark and told me to kill myself and I thought, fuck that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Zane Man! Um, Sell me. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> oh, this is the worst thing ever. I'm going to add you to this. <laughs> I'm all in. I promise I just watched the, the the pilot episode of the tick last night. I've got that stuck in my head, which is just oh, awesome. Oh, there is it. There is no pilot. There's a new pilot for the this new series. The uh, the Sarah Finnewich one. Yeah, no, there's a there was a pilot like last year. Is it that one, or is, it, is there something new for the series that's been commissioned? No, they're getting uh, the actual episodes are dropping twenty fifth of August. Ah, so cool. I really like the, just... I like the pilot. Ah, it was pretty decent. It's still that. It's just up just now. 
Ok, Mr. 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 Stu. Oh, damn it. Save my life. <laughs> or something, I don't know. I have got the perfect, perfect That's product for a superhero. Like and DJ says, I hope it's really cheap because I've got knee pockets in this suit. Well, this is where it brings it to you. You can pay by card, you can pay it by contact list, whatever you want to pay. You can pay it in kind if you want. <laughs> <laughs> um, every superhero has their own suit. More often than not, it's very skin tight, very fitting, very aerodynamic, um, but can also cause chaffing, you know, a bit of rubbing on the nipple, and that's really not so good. And when that happens, you know, it's not very comfortable, you can't think properly. So our product, which we believe will be a big seller with all superheroes of this kind, is um, latex oil. Smear it <laughs> on you just beforehand, put your suit on, sorted, you're gone, you're gone, you're rescuing the world. Nobody can touch you. No, no chaffing in awkward places, no having to get a bit hungry bum or anything like that. The latex oil <laughs> keep you good, fresh, and ready to roll. I give you latex oil. Sponsors <laughs> of every superhero comedy TV show you can ever wish for. On Fox. <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, the bar has been set. I'm not saying it with height, but it's definitely been set. Well, <laughs> if it's set for me, it's going to be about 20 feet high, you know. It's a superhero bar, ain't it? Come on. <laughs> I was just trying to remember what cards I put on the table. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, that's why you need latex oil. So, <clears throat> as a superhero, uh, you obviously kind of, you've got the super strength, you've got invisible vision, you've got, you can blast what Invisible I'm... vision? <laughs> invisible vision, that's right, you heard it here. I mean, you go blind. <laughs> that's, that, however, is not why I'm here to sell today. What I'm here to sell today is what happens after a typical superhero battle? Well, what usually happens, as we've seen in the films of late, is the fact that you destroy almost entire cities. You leave thousands of people homeless. You're a selfish, selfish bastard. <laughs> so what has to happen is you have to feed these people. You have to home these people. So how are you going to do that? You're going to do that with your super sack. What's your soup sack? It's your soup sack. You are going to open up a soup kitchen using your soup sack only. Because your super soup sack is going to feed the nation at a time where they need feed, uh, fed and shelter. Because they've got nothing left because you've destroyed their lives. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really alternative sales pitch the night, do you wear speed? You're a cunt by this. <laughs> <laughs> he knows me well. <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah, finally we have. <laughs> oh, lost All right. One. Well, <clears throat> following on from latex oil, which does sound like a useful product, and the fact that you, <laughs> yes, you need to, ha you need as a superhero, you need to be able to get your clobber on and off without you know chafing yourself and be kind of quick to jump into it that's pretty good the soup sack sounds pretty good actually if you take it in the respect that frankly yeah there's a lot of people will be displaced and you need to kind of sort that shit out however none of this is dealing with the real slog of being a superhero you're that guy you're flying out there fighting crime you're taking down all the assholes all the bad guys the real problem you've got is you take down everybody too efficiently and there is no way in God's green earth the police can hold all these nuggets. Just not, no chance. There's too many fucking idiots out there. So what you need, my friend, you need your own holding facility. Kind of like the Ghostbusters, but on your own, and you can provide your own form of justice. What you need is a nugget cage. <laughs> Every single nugget up and down the street knows you've got a nugget cage. They're going, fuck this, I'm not doing that. You're going to turn me into a fucking nugget. This is a, a cage specifically designed for Zane Man, because frankly, Zane Man wouldn't have a prison. He wouldn't even have like a, a bad guy cage. You wouldn't use bad guy. He'd call them nuggets. You literally are the fighter <laughs> of crime. You are the defeater of the nugget. You are the, the warrior against nuggetry and general nugget kind. I give you the nugget cage. Oh. 
Okay, I have to say it right now, immediately, and with no sense of irony whatsoever, that this is pretty much through one reason or another a dead heat, and your rebuttals better be damn good. <laughs> <laughs> the nug age is excellent. I'm actually jealous. But I should kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm jealous of the Nugget Cage. The issue I've got with the Nugget Cage is it's promoting unhealthy eating. It suggests that you're going to nugget. give chicken nuggets to the homeless after you make them homeless. Why are you obsessed with homeless? <laughs> what I'm doing is I'm giving you soup. Soup oh. is the main staple of everybody's diet. You're scared. You're scared that the chicken homeless. nugget man is going to take over your soup sack and that's why you're giving up. That's shocking. It's not chicken All nuggets, the nuggets are the bad guys. I'm looking out for the common man who's been made homeless and I just want to make sure they are okay. So are that's you, it. is your product free then that you care so much about the people that you're not willing to take any money for this? <laughs> of course it's free. How dare you think that it would be anything but... <laughs> I assume your latex oil product isn't free, and I'm pretty damn sure chicken nuggets, McDonald's have never given away <laughs> chicken nuggets in their life, because they're aware of the fact that they actually make people addicted to this shit. However, soup kitchens and their right are always free for the homeless, and like I said, you made these motherfuckers homeless, it's on you, it's on your conscience to feed these people from your soup sack. Can I check? Is the soup sack just a giant Capri Sun full of soup? You could look at it that way, but it's attached to the superhero's body. That's I drove it unhygienic, I'll be honest, not. but it will be warm, I guess. <laughs> um, the nugget cage has nothing to do with chicken nuggets. Literally, nugget is the is. name we gave it because it's Zane's brand of... It's all chicken nuggets. nuggets. But, but the thing oh, is, yeah, the, 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 the nugget cage could be like a gold nugget. They think, oh, go there, we'll get a bit of gold. Oh, yeah, we won't be locked up. Number one, so that's not a Wait, that's an assist. number one cool. number one reason for child obesity is chicken nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> the number one I, reason for childhood obesity is chicken nuggets. <laughs> I've, I've yeah, just chicken nuggets Latin I, for bad parents. <laughs> <laughs> far as well, I care, yeah. we takes all. Everybody needs it. <laughs> More detail. Uh, Shut up, latex oil, you're not in this. <laughs> <laughs> Rebuttal, fuck you. <laughs> when you've got such a good product, you don't have to, it sells itself. Ah, uh, good times. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck me. Ah! I've got to say, the latex oil is absolute genius. I thought it was the winner just from the very moment those cars flipped. Soup sack. Well, see, here's the thing with a soup sack. It's like suddenly it turned out from a, a defense of that to this whole chicken distraction <laughs> technique and actually being there for the, the fuck grenade fucking gun fucking fiasco from like, I know such distraction techniques. I have been privy to such distraction techniques. I have been thwarted by such distraction techniques. And I say to you, not this time. <laughs> And purely because of that, and I apologise deeply for this too, but I'm going to give it a K. <laughs> That's fine. That's absolutely fine. <laughs> I kind of want a nugget cage. I'll because tell you what, my street would be quiet if I had one. Uh, as, as he very well knows, every time Zayn Man takes someone down, the first thing he says is, shut it, you nugget. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> as soon as I a nugget, I thought this is win. <laughs> We've got X Man Days of Scottish Past <laughs> <laughs> for alternative names. <clears throat> Zen Zane Industries is interestingly, yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, <nothing laughs> one, of, one of these days, and as for Wonder Zane, damn right, I could totally <laughs> fucking hold that. I could totally. Uh, Wear a Pull off. Tiara. You could, you could. <laughs> <laughs> You're definitely wearing that corset whether you like it or not. Got to have wow. to. He's going to need some that latex oil if he does that though. <laughs> is, is, is this a... I'm still trying to play with the screen. Stop it. What's this? Is this a... A shiter? A dead card. 
Yeah, it's a shite. Uh, guys in chat, add that to a fucking gloss to the eggs nuggets. <laughs> trampoline? No one's used a trampoline. Let's put that back in there and uh, just shake them up. Trampoline. Trampoline. Fucking trampoline. John, trampoline. Oh my trampoline. god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, trampoline. <laughs> I think Stuart just thinks you're taking the piss out of him for some reason. <laughs> no, no. I've tried to figure out where you're if you try to do a Russian accent or just Aberdonian. I can't quite figure that one I can't out. Remember, I think that guy was an Aberdonian or some shit. <laughs> it doesn't Sorry, matter. D's, D's going to sell my product that we can kill himself with. It doesn't matter where he's from. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to unsell my product so everybody else is a winner tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's a winner, baby. I can't sing. There you go. Hey! <laughs> Good on it. The funny thing is, you said that I can't sing almost in the key of yeah. that's the truth. Really? That's the truth. I, I can't tell. I, I know I can't sing, but I'll give it a go. Okay, hey, we have a card. I have a very specific... My producer stroke wife is on there looking up and going, are you okay? So I'm really actually wondering what the hell happened like 30 seconds ago in the stream that I now can't see. <laughs> was it when you were fucking like palpating my fucking beard when I wasn't looking? Are you hella? <clears throat> We've the now got the... It was the injustice that was. We've now also got Soup the sack. incredible Zane and X nuggets. <laughs> I don't know. Jaylee, you're Hitler. Must be the hero. Oh, that's good. What? Eggman oh, versus day. Super Kid, Dawn of Whiskey. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. X Nuggets. Is X okay. Nuggets not just like if you were like made into a eunuch or something? They are your X Nuggets. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm now Sans Nuggets. <clears throat> you never know. Terrifying. You've been X Nuggetated. <laughs> I love how you invent words. It's my favourite. Okay, that's not going to be a good one, but hey ho. Yeah, I'm just pressing your soup sack back into the, the list here. Okay, finally. Caress the nuggets. Don't forget it. Oh. Just the nugget phase I'm going through. Z Kyle! <laughs> Crop. X nugget soup fried in latex oil. Jesus, oh. Badger, that's some uh, that's some kinky shit right there, man. That's 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 tasty. Captain Z in the Scottish soul. <laughs> <laughs> and Zarak, you when you mentioned the W word. Slange. Slange. Oh, no, not yet. Oh, shit, it's running out. Damn, man. <laughs> we have emptied the holy hand grenade of bourbon. Is that the holy hand grenade of Antioch? It was. It's, it's somewhat diminished. Nice. Do you know how much I would love to just toss that on my shoulder? <laughs> <laughs> Do you love it as much as you like the wife to punch you in the face? <laughs> not that drunk. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are not that drunk. Okay, Hitler. Yes, I mean... Oh. Gonna make... <laughs> I am going to make this short and... I am going to make this short and sweet. This is going to be the shortest presentation you've ever seen. You're an absolute cunt. And I totally urge you to use this bullet and kill yourself. Next. <laughs> okay, time for some questions. <laughs> well, as, as we know, you, you're you not much of a, a reading person. You, anything that's in of interest, you, you like a good good bonfire, you know? You like read, like, four books. <laughs> you wrote to my camp. You know, uh, he, wrote, for... he, he wrote a rather famous book. You can still buy it in bookstores, bookstores I'd, right now. I'd, if you can find I'd... a bookstore, that is. Yeah, that's true. All the, all the shaky ones, <laughs> you just want to get rid of. And you get a bit of pleasure out of it, a bit of a heat. So, the crappy product of the night for you, or the <laughs> complete shizer, is... Yes, that's right. We've got your wood book. Oh. You can you can toss it on the fire. You can watch that baby <laughs> burn, burn baby burn, um, <laughs> all night long. And uh, was that a D Ream song? 
But Born <laughs> Baby Born? No, no, no. It's not only a fun fire. Burn, baby, burn. Nah. Disco Inferno. I've, I've got a wood book for you. You can toss it in far more places on the fire. You can toss it everywhere. <laughs> no, yeah, Disco so, Inferno was uh, not Earth and Fire. It was the Tramps. There we go. Uh, anyway, there's your wood book. You can do whatever you want with it. <laughs> Stick up your arse. <laughs> what a sales bitch. There's your wood book. Do whatever. You can't talk about sales pitches twice. You've told me to kill myself. This is going to be a perfect He's done it as well. <laughs> you fuckers try to tell me something. By the way, mate, kill yourself. Thanks, fuckers. <laughs> That's three times and I've been told to kill myself. <sighs> Good job, not fucking fragile, I'll tell you. Mr. D, go for the, the death pitch, will you? Was that literally it? Jesus fucking Christ. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> right. Hitler, fuck. Hitler, it's good to have you back, mate. Well done. <laughs> we all thought you'd fucking perished. <laughs> so, what I'm thinking, you've obviously, I assume, got the same agenda that you had before. World domination, <laughs> picking the brain and that kind of shit. So, Picking. What you need to do is your old way of thinking needs to be thrown out. So you're needing to have a kind of new way of thinking. That new way of thinking needs to be, I don't know, incentivized by somebody from the new age. How are you going to get onto the, the kind of new folks, the new teens, where it's at, with the Twitters and the, the Facebooks and the stuff like that and the fucking beards and shit. So what I'm trying to sell to you today, which is going to make you in contact and get you in contact with that youth, the people that are going to vote you through history and make you the ruler of the world. And I know that's what you're after, big man. So what I'm presenting to you today is the hipster plug. That's right. You take that hipster plug, you shove it right up your arse, and then you have that insight to the whole hipster world, and you know how to connect with everybody and the world you shall take. <sighs> All right. Any rebuttals? Any cogent similes? You know. I mean, I, I don't know about you, but I think the hamster plug is so 2012. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I had the hamster plug before the hamster plug was cool. I think to be uh, fair, you, if you had the hamster plug, you need the whole fucking shit to go with it, and Hitler just has none of that. So. No, the wood books. Uh, you've you seen my moustache. There's nothing like That's a good wood book. Right to, good wood book at the end of the night. Just chuck it on. Or your worries. A good wood book at the end of the night. Do you know what I've met? I came back in my, my bunker and thought, do you know what I could use? A wooden book <laughs> at the end of oh, the yeah. night. End of the night, you just pick it up, <laughs> chuck it on. Away you go. Instant fire, instant warmth, and that's all you need for the world. Right. All right. Um. For my own personal purposes, she's, as as she's the theater, stumped, incidentally, is that a tree joke? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, carry on. Yeah, I don't think I need to butt on the woodbook. <laughs> as the Führer, I would like to take this opportunity to thank you all for your input and your products. They all sound tremendous, but I think actually, as the, I like to think of myself as. Um, it's called Bacula from Quantum Leap, and have, I've actually Quantum Leaped into the body of Hitler, so I would take the urge bullet. This was in. Kill yours. Also, just because on, he's streaming it right now, and I'd like to put a, a card at the side of his table that says Hitler. Just so the entire time from the children, just Hitler sitting there. <laughs> Oh. See, that was your one opportunity to say kill yourself. <laughs> I want you to get away from the kill yourself section. Why did you get away from it when yeah. Hitler turned up? <laughs> I really wanted to help Hitler. Incident <laughs> and incidentally, we do need to get at least another couple of people in on this at some point and do a secret uh, secret Hitler stream. That would be fun. Uh, let's 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 so. Let's get rid of those. How many cars have I got? My god, my cars are a mess of some of them even got turned over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can do that while you guys are thinking about your thing. However, that was stupid. One I am of cards appears to be ring. Speaking of ring, I am a masseuse. Sell me. And now you know what that is, we'll just get rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. 
I've got because, another Wellington yeah. product here, gentlemen. This product is the fucking balls. Because I'll just get rid of that card because what possible comedy value could you get out of the word ring? Okay. Probably quite a lot, but let's not go there just yet. Let's let, let's let it hang. Not the ring. If that's doing that, you might go to see a doctor. I've like 92 <laughs> cards. I've one, two, three. <laughs> Bill Hicks marketing that's scheme. Cool. Kill yourself. <laughs> that is exactly what I'm fucking up against here. But genuinely, I mean, I'm not a complete cunt. Getting told to kill myself three times in a night is a new record, even by my standards. Apart from his proud, I think I've done some good work here. Yeah, get my dollar. That's a good I'm going to get my guitar out soon. Yay. What, what keys are you motherfucker? I'm going to turn up and do a solo. <laughs> We've got charts. Why the fuck am I drinking lemonade? Just going on. Class. What is wrong with you? Is it not lemonade? You just been drinking so much whiskey now. It just tastes like that. Okay, Stu Unlimited, Stu Pack Shakur. Fucking... Actually, that's a good question. Badger, what the S heck was I drinking last night? Because it was good. I don't know what it's called. It's too hot to handle. Right. Too cold to hold. <laughs> Guys, ah, <laughs> oh, Christ! You, you, I wish I was too soon. I wish I went by my my middle name of Daisy. You know, <laughs> Steve uh, will kill you. I, be <laughs> I believe. I believe. I could fly. Sell me. Um. Now, as a masseuse, I I don't know if you take on male or our clients to, to give a wee, wee relaxation to um, but given that you may have a company of people who you distribute your tasks to um, our company have something that will um, Oh Shanga you're on the flag carry on <laughs> <laughs> uh, our, our company have something that will basically help with your clean up process when some people get a little too excited um, you know, it happens, relaxation, there's some reactions happen. So our product is, of course, a spunk trap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't want to uh, do that shit. You don't want that kind of mess to handle or pick up. It goes in, it traps it. You can bag it, bin it, and someone else can deal with it. That is the spunk trap for your, you and your companies. Uh, Massage people, masseurs, there we go. Next! <laughs> I'll try. <laughs> uh, sells itself. I thought it was latex oil, but clearly not. Do <laughs> <laughs> <So> you peaked? <laughs> Pardon the pun? Maybe said I'm actually offended on behalf of you that the fact that my esteemed colleague, and I use the word esteem very loosely, on the right hand side, is that a spa joke? A spunk trap <laughs> just to go about your daily business. It's as if that you're wanting this for more than just a massage, is something that you do, but in actual fact, we know that's the case. And it's not just for pleasure. We know it's not just for pleasure. pleasure. You're not in this for pleasure. It's your death. You're in this. <laughs> Kill yourself. You can't find an actual mate in the animal kingdom for some reason. You cannot find somebody to mate with. So what I can sell you today, and millions and millions of people donate to this on a weekly basis, is the Ovum Torpedo. Because <laughs> I know that what you want deep down is you crave, you crave motherhood. No <laughs> what sex or gender you are, and I know those two things are the same. <laughs> I know you're one <laughs> a parent, a mother, a father. And it doesn't matter which you are. The open torpedo can give you exactly what you want. You don't need a spunk trap. You need exactly the opposite. You need a, an open torpedo, which is going to give you the child and the reason for living that you desire as a masseur. I really want to see what the third product is, see what can be combined. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. I, uh, 
What? <laughs> right, so did you jump from fucking <laughs> from Mrs. to Strange Parenthood Disco? <laughs> Yeah, right. it's from death pitch to creation pitch it's pretty uh, a chunk <laughs> that's true, it's good dynamic range we're giving that alright, um, that was ludicrous um, Luda. I I can't argue the spunk trap but that is all, that's not maybe the most sensitive of products on the basis that you know, it depends what kind of masters you are I'm going to assume that you are the high quality, kind of high calibre venue that got all like 8,000 different oils and it's just a lovely place to be. You float about and you feel like you're in the fucking Aztec zone in the crystal maze, but it's just all nice candles without the screaming and the money. Um, or, you know, my street, but um, without the money. So I've got one product that I think every masseuse up and down the country could deal with because the problem is people think massage and they think, oh, that girl's going to get massages. Not true, my friend. I like a massage. I like a massage like the rest of them. Problem is, I'm a hairy bitch. And do you know what? See the guy that's selling the ovum torpedo? He's a hairy bitch. The other guy, I think he'll hit puberty in the next two or three weeks. <laughs> Although, based on his car positioning on his wee guy, it looks like he's got giant fucking nads that have <laughs> dropped. So, um, I offer a product that I think everybody could benefit from in the massage industry. You're there, you're doing, you're working your magic, you're making everybody feel relaxed. And the one fucking thing is, you don't even masturbate aggressively, but somehow you've got hairy fucking hands. What you need, my friend, is a pube armor. You put this bad boy on, you dress like a knight, but it's very slick, it's very lean, it's very light, and you're going, I can massage these people all day, not a pube in sight. You go home at night, you're like fucking the guys from the Intel adverts in the 90s, just cutting about in your hazmat suit. Pube armor, the best in the business. <laughs> Which part of you say my thing was not viable to his product, and yet you're asked me to massage pubes. Doesn't no, come in. Massage it. pubes. When you massage a hairy person, you get the pubes on you. You get the pube business. <laughs> but if it's a classy joint, it should be going down that far. I have a hairy chest, which is still technically pubes. Really? Yes. How can you tell if you've done a density check? Below head is classy pubic hair. Because I've researched my customer. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> So what I would like to say is my, my colleague on the right is calling you a slut. My colleague on the left is giving you some sort of protection against hair, whereas I'm giving you the option and the possibility to bring life into this world. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking to, family planning. To be and honest. also I managed to use the card all of them. <laughs> to, to be fair... <laughs> To be fair, my friend, <coughs> Gerald brings a really relief to anyone, so it doesn't need your ovum torpedo. See, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a difficult one to kind of separate myself from the actual from your the, spirit animal, the missus. The, the, from the, the, the missus. <laughs> to kind of com compartmentalise those two things. It's like, essentially, you're trying to sell me a child. You would have more luck selling me... A child that you could burn. <laughs> Colon cancer. Wow. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a tough sell. It's, it's a really tough sell. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the pube armor is genius. I know. <laughs> the the, the pube armor is absolutely genius. The spunk trap is funny as fuck. I, 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 I... Fuck it. I'm having a baby. I can't, <laughs> I can't decide between them. You can have it, Dean. Thank you, sir. <laughs> oh, I thought I was getting my first fucking, like, double score for the first... <laughs> <laughs> nah, I can't do that then. I need to go first again. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least we know it's not because of a quality product. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon genuinely you could sell somebody some pube armour. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe latex oil and pube armor could join up and make some kind of like you know yeah. fucking barrier cream that stops fucking. Uh, I, I, <laughs> I, I mean, uh, yeah, I, I Why do am think. Why not buying into this shit? <laughs> I, do, I do think I do think we need to change the name somewhat, but yeah, selling some sort of anti-hair fucking device for massage <laughs> artists, massage artists, masseuses. Masseu it says it in the cards. Why can't I think of the fucking name? It was there. No, do you know what? See if somebody makes a fucking baguette and Subway's a sandwich artist, I think you can be a massage artist. That's just fine. This, ah, this is very fucking true. 
Although I don't know, half the fucking baguettes I've had at a subway look like a fucking Picasso. For fuck's sake! I'm gonna have a word with Badger. Jesus, does he like up in the ante on how fucking FL we are? <laughs> Greased pub armor. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, and yeah. <laughs> Fucking <clears throat> and actually, after six pints in a couple of subways, it looks more like Jackson Pollock. But there you go. Where, where, what we got? What is where college dropout? Um, Mister K Dog, you've got another two cans you can get. Just for your info, I've got just the product. You've got eight cards. You can have another two. You know how many eight cards? Ten cards we're working with tonight. I did not know this. I'm all right with my cards at the moment. I'll take an R2 if I get stuck. Uh. <laughs> what a great noise scene. <laughs> <laughs> Where's all the good cards? I tell you well, what, man. I've, apart for that I've one. still got like a weird fucking taste in my mouth from the term greased pube armour. Hey, do you want to flip then? What's that, bud? Do you want to flip your cards? Nah, that's right. They're out there now. <laughs> <laughs> you can get your bottles going now. I'm all right with that. The only other option we've got is to throw them into the sun. Okay, we have all cards on the table. And uh, I know I'm intrigued to know what Mr. K's cards are. On you go, sir. <laughs> well, you're a college dropout, right? So what happened is you were in college and you get kicked out because you're a bloody legend. You don't need no teachers. You don't need somebody to tell you what to do. You don't need any of that shit. What you're going to do is you're going to cut down at the 7-Eleven. You're going to cut down to the, the, the drive through place and just sit there and hang out like a boss all day, a bit of a stoner loser. I mean, a uh, like legend. And uh, obviously that's where heroes go and that's where you get all the trim. I just brought the word trim back into co fucking conversation somehow. <laughs> and when you go to the trim, you could do the thing where people say, oh, you put a wee notes in the end of your bedpost. Or you could go, I've got all these souvenir thongs. And for that, you need a thong bucket. You just throw all those bad boys in there. And sometimes you're feeling a wee bit spicy. You can have a sniff if that's what you're inclined. Magic, have a thong bucket. <laughs> Dean? Do I need to? <laughs> My brain didn't register the word dropout, by the way. <laughs> I'm actually <laughs> I'm actually slowly like getting to the point where I'm gonna have to take last fucking game's task and just pick two cards at random and see what I get because I'm getting fucking nowhere with this. <laughs> so first of all, not your fault. Things happen, things get on top of you, you know. It's just she too many parties, too many women. What else can you do? It's like you know, something's got to you know, something's got to give. And in your case, it was it was college. I mean, that it doesn't mean you're still not a committed and thriving person. And you know, so you you now have this. Your life is sitting at home watching Simpsons reruns for days on end. And what is it these days? Fucking Rick and what's his face? Fucking what? Marty. Um, Aye, they, they, they cunts. Uh, <coughs> and I know after a while you're you're, you're going to bulk up. You're going to get the wee the wee pot belly. You're going to you're going to start to feel a bit uncomfortable in your skin. You're going to you you're going to put on weight. I'm trying to be delicate, but you're going to you're going to put on weight, and you're going to feel the need to exercise. That's what's going to happen. You're going Zane, to feel can I just put in a wee second? Are you going to tell me to kill myself? No, 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 not at all, not at all, not at all. Um, what I'm just, what I am saying is, you, you, you're going to feel that need to, to, to exercise, to you know, get your body moving, get your body pumping, get things going. And all I would say to that is just, you've took the first step. You're doing nothing. Just commit. Just commit. Just ease into that life of absolutely fuck all of but pretzels and Simpsons and enjoy it. What I have got for you is the exercise <laughs> repellent. Because you don't need that shit. I mean, what, 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 what are you exercising for? You get, you get no need for that now. Your days are, your days are. You've, you've done your whoring. You've done your drinking. You're quite happy to sit back, relax, and chill, and scratch those nads to your heart's content. I say you should go for it. 
with the exercise com- exercise repellent. Hi, thank you. I thought you were going to say exercise replicant for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> exercise replicant. <laughs> <laughs> what is it to live? <laughs> sure, it's yours to live. <sighs> I just lost anyway. Um, <laughs> <laughs> did you just? Did somebody just give you a free exercise repellent? <laughs> I've I've just been caught by death. It's fine. I'm gone. I'm all good. Um, <laughs> so you've you've dropped out. Things haven't gone your way. You're feeling a bit bummed at times, depending on what happened. <laughs> I <laughs> felt the bummed. Bum. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but I'm sure with slight like persuasion of some latex oil, you'll be absolutely fine with that. Um, but you're feeling really intense. A wee bit anger there. Um, but you don't know what to do with it. You know, you, you've got, you could stroke it away in a thong bucket and get more frustrated. And then you've got exercise, which is going to be, the more fatter you get, you're not going to get the, the good women to put those thongs on, basically, or whatever's coming off will just be oh, disgusting. And you're going to have all this pent up energy and you don't know what to do with it. What we can offer you is a product where you can channel that energy and make a little bit of money out of being poisoned pen letters to people. It'll make you feel fucking fantastic. And you get to lose some of that energy. And death will come for you at some point. <laughs> Can I just, like, underline the, the amount of darkness in tonight's episode? <laughs> There's a lot of people getting fucking killed. <laughs> wow. Death Wait, comes... Death death comes comes for Hitler everyone. deserved it. <laughs> is, sorry, is that it? Yeah, I think so. That's it, yeah. <laughs> so I said I spoke to death five minutes ago. He's coming for us right after that <laughs> match. <laughs> As I've just died anyway. <laughs> um, I think all these products are fantastic and I'm really on board with all of them. And I think because you're a college dropout, you've really loved off your parents, you can afford all of them. I think you'd buy them all. Yeah, I mean, I, I would try and repel the others. I don't, I don't think that's really going to happen too much. Uh, repel, rebut the others. I, I, sorry, I seem to have the, the repellent on my mind. Um, <laughs> I, I, I would try and rebut the, the others, but I, I don't think it's going to happen. I don't think it's going to, I think they're a bit too strong. But I will say, however, if you buy the exercise repellent, I will quite happily throw in two free shesps. <laughs> <laughs> a lubed up shesp? A lubed up shesp. A, a greased up shesp. <laughs> Two, in fact. Is it flammable? Uh, uh, it's, it's either flammable or inflammable, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> Great, both of those things. <laughs> <laughs> are we done? <laughs> we are I think indeed. we were done hours ago, to be honest. I'm just loving <laughs> Stu's little card balls down here. Oh, right. <laughs> Um. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> all right. So as the uh, the college dropout, um, I a- already have low self esteem and low energy, so I don't need exercise repellent. And um, that just comes with the territory at the moment. Um, as what I've got to say with the poison pen is I've literally got nothing to say about the poison pen. Um, so that leaves me with the thong bucket. Now, as a college dropout, yes, I am female in this particular situation. Now I'm going to have to actually turn to drugs. So if I turn to drugs, I'm going to have to turn to selling my body. I'm going to have to have some way of turning over my underwear every time I see different people to earn the money for the drugs that I want. So I indeed, I am absolutely going to have to require a thumb bucket so I can chuck all my underwear in there to complete the washing of my drug habit. Thumb bucket absolutely has it. Thumb bucket. There you go. Yeah. Fucking jingle that bitch. Nice one. I wasn't even sure that was a viable product. Thank you, D. <laughs> <laughs> you won by uh, way of really shit competition. <laughs> <laughs> that, my friend, is my life. <laughs> Ah, played. <sighs> Fucking good shit, this. Has <laughs> anyone wanting like, a quick drink break? Because I know I do. There you go, buddy. There you go. Oh, well, actually, uh, that's you, you do the I card. I'm a billionaire. 
What? I don't know why I'm a, a weird French, Italian, European billionaire, but that's what I am. Do it. I mean, what? What? Feel free to throw that card in the bin and pick another one. Uh, uh, nah, I think I'll just. I don't know. I'll find a way to tell you to kill yourself. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. I... Uh... Oh, this is not a good one, but... <laughs> so just so, just so you guys know, if you're keeping the billionaire card, my answer will always be, how does your product compare to, say, likes of a train, which I can also afford? Okay, Count Homer. I am going to use that little known rule of the one time, fuck it, <clears throat> and I'm getting rid of all my cards. <laughs> I think I'll go for randomization. just pick any two and go with it. See, <laughs> I've done that before, where you replace all your cards and you go, these are equally disappointing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember, because no. someone else mentioned it earlier on, what was the, the grenade option that I came out with the last time that trumped Bet, something else? Bitch grenade. Oh, uh, <laughs> fucking yes! I was trying to sell a bitch grunt, and you just totally pulled a bitch grenade out your ass. That was fucking <laughs> fucking ultimate distraction one oh one. I like, I like Jay sitting in the chat going, would anyone like some dark humour jokes, yes or no? Jay, do you know what? We're the entertainment. Stop stealing the fucking thunder. <laughs> <laughs> this shit not dark enough for you. I rein that shit in. <laughs> this isn't your podcast, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm going to give you a geeky joke, right? A geeky IT joke. So, oh God. I would tell you a joke about UDP, but you might not get it. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> How dare you! know what's you funny about that? As, until that joke turned up, I bet you didn't even have got that. I would say it to you. <laughs> 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 or did you invent it? I'm underestimating your skills. It's awesome. Okay. I'm not saying we're developing a theme tonight. In any way. <laughs> Who's dying next? <laughs> you know. I would just like to put that out there first of all. Like, uh -huh. I, you know. But, uh. Where's the Hitler card sitting, by the way? <laughs> I give it Why is it? That's, I'm just realizing that's... it's a bit darker outside. I'm just a floating head now. <laughs> yes. It's, it's, it's my new title. That's, that's what I'm going to rename the channel. Uh, with the Hitler, who won the Hitler round? <laughs> I was the hell around. I just thought it'd be funny because he's streaming that the, whenever somebody tunes in, all they're seeing is Hitler. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Okay. Essentially, at this point, you've done it. You have climbed that mountain. You have reached the pinnacle of all there is. You are successful. You are rich. You are wealthy. You are, dare I say, somewhat handsome. What else is there? What's left? It's really not that much. You need a belt. You need a suicide belt. <laughs> you, there's, there's nothing left to do. <laughs> Kill yourself. <laughs> the ghost of Bell compels you. <laughs> oh man. You, you've done it all. What's left? Kill yourself. There is no need to kill yourself. There's none at all. A suicide belt? Oh, dear me. Such dark, dark times. However, being a billionaire does come with some... It's not dark. Go into the light. Oh, I'm, about to, I'm about to push the light on I'm this. still behind you freaking people out.
I'm poisoning all you guys. <laughs> Don't mind us. Carry on. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'll get back to the, the first, first pitch. Distraction um, technique. <laughs> Deploy. <laughs> it's a floating head. My word. It's death. Um, the, the thing about being a billionaire is you're never... When you meet a, a lady, or if you paid for a lady, you want something that's going to get yourself going. But you've not got a good gauge of how the night's happening, whether it's going to turn into a, you know, a good bit of um, good bit of fun things to do. So we want to give you a passion thermometer. So as your <laughs> night goes, you can see if that temperature's rising. <laughs> And see if you're going to get some hot stuff all night long. <laughs> and if you don't, you can walk away and you've saved yourself a bit of money. <laughs> that's it. The passion thermometer, that's yours for life. Uh, passion thermometer sounds like a fucking earth, wind and fire song. <laughs> it's like play so many songs that I think of. Right. Not me. Anyway, next. I remove my sheer boobs. What Sorry, Stu, did you say something? <laughs> no, I'm just reminiscing Faye. <laughs> you moment. know you Jackie Stallone tits? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's Jackie. Uh... <laughs> D? <laughs> so what I was trying to think of was what would a billionaire want? I mean, from a practical point of view, what could you want? Because you've literally got everything. Kill yourself. I mean, you've got literally everything, and it's like, I'm not going to kill myself. This life's fucking amazing. I want to keep on doing whatever the fuck I want to do. And what I want to do is fuck everything. I mean, <laughs> fuck everything in absolute sight. But do you know what I want to do? Or not want to do, I should say. Is I do not want anybody claiming my money. I don't want anybody claiming that... Oh, he's the father of my child because I'm a billionaire. It's as simple as that. Yeah, fuck everybody that's going around, but I use protection. But what happens that night, which is pretty much every fucking weekend as a billionaire, where you're like, I'm fucking everything like shit, I'm out of rubbers. Well, from the company that gave you the bitch grenade, I give you the rubber grenade. <laughs> <laughs> so when you're in the room and there's Bitches falling apart. <laughs> and you want to fuck all them? You throw down the rubber grenade, and boom! Rubbers come from everywhere, and you can do your business. You can please all them ladies with the rubber grenade. <laughs> TM. I think your company should be called the Something Grenade Company. <laughs> It is. If it's complimented by the bitch grenade, I'm sure that's what makes all these lovely ladies appear. Um, yeah, that's... Bitch PLC. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> um, rebuttals, I guess? Uh, kill yourself, or check yourself, or have a good fucking time. Peace out. To be Suicide honest, you could do a combination famous. with... Suicide you don't want, the passion thermometer will, will let you know. Changes, the passion thermometer will let you know if you need a rubber grenade or not. He's using, he's using the scorpion rebuttal. <laughs> <laughs> Death's coming for him. Uh, okay, so I'm not going to kill myself because I'm a billionaire and I'm having a good old time. I'm not going to be swung by the theme tune from MASH at any point. So, so um, I think we should just stop listening to him sing. <laughs> Carry on. Ah, thwarted. Suicide uh, um, is painless. Sorry. <laughs> death is behind you. Look round. <laughs> My fear of death is to the left of me. <laughs> I mean, I meant Zane's uh, picture. Death is standing right behind him in that picture. Oh, fucking you hell. could be death. 
This is jazz hands. If it's death by jazz hands, I'm your man. I'm up on it. Um, yeah, so okay, I don't want to kill myself. So suicide belt is off the cards. Um, although it is a useful product in the event that someone tries to see my proprietary technology. Um, I want to sell you a suicide belt. Um, we've got Tranny Stu back in the house. That's good. <laughs> 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 what I like about it is the ski mask is that I'm enjoying. It's, uh, it's brown. Anyway, um, that's a passing thermometer sounds good, but that's on the assumption that I'm a well behaved and well balanced down there. The option of the rubber grenades, like uh, that, basically explodes into a uh, like a fucking Durex confetti. I'm this. gonna fuck everyone. Got a jingle. Uh, it's good. However, <laughs> I do like the rubber grenade. I'm a fan of it. But I do have to say, I'm more of a kind of gentle, loving kind of billionaire. I like to look after just one lady, not 40, because frankly, although I've got a rubber grenade, there's a failure rate of 98.7%. And when you've got that many ladies in the one room, that, that failure rate goes up considerably. So I'm going to give that one to the passion thermometer. No way. Temperatures just <laughs> Fuck it, what's the shit product? <laughs> you can have one. <laughs> <laughs> but you need to drop your grenade and see when he comes out. So I will fuck a grenade for you. Brilliant. Hold on. Zarak saying some really bad singing tonight. Zarak, I'm going to get you in a motherfucking Skype session and record the shit out of you, son. <laughs> Don't you start. Sludge. I'm crap at singing. I'll happily admit that. So it's probably me. I'm a maid. You can tell that any way you want. <laughs> uh, yes, this song brought to you by the Holy Hanger. Holy Hanger. By our. Fuck that one up. Is that the bottle I bought you? Uh, no, I believe that's. I don't remember. That the third iteration. <laughs> and I was going to say because that was ages ago. I thought if you've taken that long to drink that, that's fucking disgusting. No, oh, that's definitely a different one. Thank fuck for that. I was, I was actually losing faith in you there, chief. Okay, <laughs> so what do I need? What do I need? I need to figure out where the hell we got. Are we still recording? Are we still. <laughs> I <laughs> hope so. Yeah, so. Hi. <laughs> Hi. How you doing? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ah, ah, ah. Let's. What the fuck? Am I? Get rid of these. And you're a maid. Oh yeah. A maid. I say take it anywhere you want. A maid. A maid. Can be any maid. I'm none of these bus conductor type or orchestral type people. But I'm not a fucking any maid. I've got best standards. Well, fuck. What the? But I don't be, need to be pigeonholed like orchestral shit, you know? Are you fucking made in China? <laughs> <laughs> well, for all you know, I could be a, a very That's Chinese a good doll made. Double entendre, doing that. Double entendre. The holidays, hey. I'm thinking bronze, by the way. Fucking just book somewhere for fuck's sake. I, I've opened it up to the table, I shouldn't do it, but I'm going to France. I like the French, because they're all dicks. is not a place I would have said I to. I wouldn't know either until I went to Valerie, so I recommend we have a fucking good look at it, because it's fucking incredible. Is there a beach there? It is made of beach. Rather give it's a literally the Côte d'Azur. It's like fucking beach for miles. I've got nothing. I... Yep. I've got fuck all as well. So my product is going to be really mouse, called shit. Mouse Clock. I'm not sure what that is, but you know, I'm going to sell it. I'm going to sell it hard. Well, not hard. It's a mouse cock. It doesn't really matter. Zena, are you pure shuffling your cards for the second time this evening? Oh, too random. Oh, no, I'm not exchanging them. I'm shuffling them. Two random cards because I have fucking, yeah. Well, this is last round, is it not? Fuck it. it? Where are we? Half eight, half ten. That's been two hours. Yep. Um, Some yeah, poor bastards been listening to our bullshit for two hours. That technical difficulties has probably been shit. about twenty minutes. <laughs> 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 this is very true. I think. I, I think another couple. I think another two, and then we'll 
Maybe bother. We we will we will call it. All right, my first up. Yes. A uh, right. yes. It's as simple as this. This is the worst sales pitch I've ever done, and this is what I've got because I've got really shit cards. So as a maid, uh, whatever kind of maid, I don't know if you're the fucking a hotel maid or the maid of the mist. That's the two options here. I'm assuming you've got the maid of the mist. So you know the maid of the mist, that internationally renowned fucking product. <laughs> yes. So if you're a maid in a hotel, all I'm aware of is the fact that you're overworked. I know you're overworked. And I know what you want at the end of the shift. I know you can get sex on tap, you knock on the door, go out room service, and you can get pumping on anytime you want. But after the end of the shift, I know what you're looking for is just a relaxing night. You want a kind of a drink and relax. So all I'm going to give to you is a product that's, I, I own this uh, bar, and that bar is the Drum and Monkey. So you can come down to the Drum and Monkey and you can get a free drink this evening. In fact, you can get a free drink every evening because you're the maid. You're the maid of the hotel that um, I might stay in at some point. I don't know why. But for <laughs> argument purposes, you've got free drinks and maybe a free meal every month. Okay. Right. R5 for my colleague's uh, outburst there, the drumming monkey's a pub in Glasgow, so he's just he's, he's trying to, like, hostile take over some cunt's pub. Um, <laughs> which, by the way, is heroic. Um, I've only got one thing. You're a maid, and do you know what the problem with being a maid is? Your work's already hard enough, and then what you've got is all these bell ends that watch too much porn and think, there's a maid, I'm going to bang her. You, what you need is a decoy. You need, think about, the, you think about, like, Slimer and Ghostbusters, right? He's fucking, he's there, giving his blah, fucking teeth and face and spit. What do they do? They throw a trap underneath him and like pulls him down. That's him, dealt with. What you need is a similar device for when you get those greasy businessmen try to touch you up because you try to do your job and you're going, fuck off, businessman. I'm just wearing my maid outfit. I'm not actually trying to be sexy. I just happen to be sexy because I'm a beautiful, independent, strong woman. I don't need your shit. What you need is the decoy that you throw on the floor and they go, oh, I want to get into that because it's right there in front of them and that distracts them. You can get on with your job. What you need is a sex orifice, a beautiful modular little package, reusable, completely replaceable. You can use to replace the insides of it. You just get an Asda bag or you just bludgeon the businessman to death and hopefully it goes away. You could also buy a suicide belt for one of my colleagues that spoke earlier tonight that you could strap on him while he tries to bone the sex orifice. To kill him. So that is my offering to you, the sex orifice. Decoy Poontang for the businessman who doesn't know any better. <laughs> that happened, I know. I pretty much just like typecast everybody in that one, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> this is what I'm looking forward to. This is the picture well, of the century. I mean, so far it's like you can, here you can have a pub or here you can get laid. I'm gonna, I, I mean, I, I don't see how I win this one. I think I'm pretty much just shut out of this one. Which is which is a Zane bluff. <laughs> well, I don't, I just believe it. I don't know what I've got, so that's gonna be a tough one. To, <laughs> a tough one to prove. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, what, mate? How you doing then? <laughs> we got the perfect gift for you right here from the same person that brought you. Brought you, brought you, <laughs> brought you, what the giver. fuck did I bring you? I brought you a something wire. I brought you the wire, the fucking, the, the carpet wire, that was it. She could have, mate, I brought you the carpet wire this time. I got a fucking deal for you, mate. I got a great fucking deal for you. You'll never fucking see. What we got for you today is we got a bat mouse. <laughs> 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 is that, is that it? <laughs> I'm thinking, mate, it's a great deal, but I just I need to get it right in my head first. <laughs> bat mouse is what you do with a bat mouse, mate. You're in those rooms, you've got those fucking shady bastards, they're fucking leaving the crumbs all over the place, don't worry about it, the bat mouse will take care of it. Absolutely fine. If they still happen to be in the room, they're feeling a bit horny, they wouldn't get to use one of those sex orifices. 
Absolutely fine, mate. Turn around the bat mouse. You got the mouse bat, and you can hit them over the head with a fucking bat. Great, mate. You're sorted. Bat mouse. Get them while stocks last. <laughs> that do what's fun about that. That's less bat annoying than the guy that sells a double glazing. It looks like a like an angry, angry fucking hobbit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh. Any... <laughs> if you take the if you take the wings off of a bat, it would kind of resemble kind pretty of like a weird mouse. A mouse. So... What? Ah, it's pretty much a mouse that's ran into a door fifteen times. <laughs> <laughs> You've got the pick of the bunch there, pal. Bat mouse. Do you like how I turned the world tiniest penis into a ninja turtle? <laughs> <laughs> okay, now while well, you're picking, and in no way should this like sort of kind of uh, absolutely that this should not like affect your judgment in any way, or so. Uh, like, I am not trying to kind of you know judge me, very bribe the the judge or anything like that. But I do have to say, this is a really good time, I think, to have the inaugural taste of the uh, the old no way. ten years at best whiskey. Oh nice. no way! I thought you'd just branded shit up in here. Is I good? thought that would have been tanned already. <laughs> Look at <laughs> that! Oh, this is going to come down to it's a little shite. Look at that! It's a beautiful craft. Beautiful. Had that thought. This is too scary. Oh, I've never done one taste it right in front of my bloody face. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing, if it's anywhere near as good as this here one, this has got very little left <laughs> of it, and it's just a courtesy. Over a bit, over a bit, there you go. Oh, Sparrow's no. Nest at Dawn, Stereo Vandal's original blend by the powerful Steer Unlimited. Oh, there's no response, it can be good. These deep deaths came from... <laughs> He's got a suicide belt on, don't worry about it. Can I order 10 bottles? That is... That so is I've already and... drank and that is smooth as blended fuck. by the sun because mm. when you gave me it, I just thought, I need to drink that out of... It was um, um, such amazing taste. It was an amazing whiskey. It was a brilliant blend. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to use it as some sort of argumentative uh, discussion was... point. But... Supposed to go for your dad, that one, was it not? That was on. <laughs> what do you make a fucking whiskey Stay. for my dad? Do you make a whiskey for my dad? That whiskey was for me, motherfucker. Stay. I was like, I'll win You finished that? Oh. Yep. Fucking hell. <laughs> you, you blend a fine bl blend, good sir. Zane, how's that working out for you? That is a drop and a half. That is smooth as hell. And then a couple of minutes later, you just feel that nice wheat, that just in your chest, just rising. Ooh. Anyway, like a, like a drink grenade. A maid would be interested in a drink at the end of the shift. Trap. A sex orifice, considering yeah. they've already got three of them. Oh, yeah. At least. And a bat house, whatever the fuck that I like is. How D, I like how D has designated those three holes in a maid. <laughs> well, the, the, the voice talk, the sex orifice thing. Oh, good Sadly, day. that would do work because I'm a bit of a tranny. So as soon as they caught a drift of what was hanging between my dress and this one, they, they'd run for a fucking mile. So I'm down to a bat mouse and a free drink and stuff. Um, oh, Jesus. <laughs> uh, the, the Don't monk. say that like it's some sort of thought. A free drink or a fucking what? <laughs> Oh, the sales pitch was so damn funny, but I'm kind of going fun versus a freebie, which sounded a bit kind of have a <laughs> have a have a drink and a bit of food, and I'll maybe no pump you later. It's a free drink. It's creepy. You were creepy as fuck. It's a free fucking drink at the end of your shift, as opposed to a bat mouse. What the fuck are you going to do with a bat mouse? Bat mouse. You know, it makes sense, mate. <laughs> bat mouse with that Maybe. accent. Whatever it is, Jason Statham selling it. Oh it, yeah. <laughs> It's not going to kill me at the end of the night, is it? Well... No, I doubt that Batmouse just because of somebody's pissed off. Batmouse wins. <laughs> oh, Bat if, uh, if I can win three contrary purposes, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> Batmouse. 
<laughs> Did you grab my card right over here? Okay, so... Oh, does that mean I'm not in this one? Oh dear, that's a shame, because this is the last one of the night. Where... Shuffle up your cards, people pick two random cards, and folk in the chat can pick the winner. How do you get them to go all going to the, the bunch? Actually, I think when we did this, uh, G to group. Yeah, hold, so put a, yeah, do that and then G. <laughs> so hold them and then G, there we go. And then give them a shake. I need two more. Actually, that's the point, we can all be in this if chat's picking the winner. Chat is the profession. Batmass. How'd you do that? What were you talking about? Just gr pull your cards in a stack and then just hold your left click down and then like kind of shake it around and it'll shuffle. Ah, uh, you're struggling to stack them. Just draw, draw a box around them and then just while you've got the while you've still got the most council, uh, while you've still got the cursor down, press G and it'll group them all, all together. Okay. Uh, looks like they're upside down, just flipping. That's weird. How can I read yours? I can as well. <laughs> the party machine. Would you like an end? <laughs> <laughs> the pumpkins tomorrow night. Right, give them a shake. Oh, the. fuck. Yo! Pumpkins tomorrow night. Uh, I'm not sure at the moment, mate. Oh, no. Female chops is not available. Yeah, now's my my female chops, so let's go do male chops. All right. Hi, shit card. Senior, shit card. Vegan, <laughs> shit card. Mortician. Yeah, let's go for that next one. Caveman. Captain Caveman. Was it just the top two cards? Yep, top two yeah. cards. Whatever you get. Right, chat, you guys are a fucking caveman. Welcome to the world. Group. Shake. That one. That one. Okay. Uh, who's going first? Do we just look at them once, uh, once we're doing it? Is that the plan here? You just flip it and then go with it, yeah. Flip it and go for it, alright. Which is the slogan of my new sports attire line. Flip it and go for it. <laughs> it is a better business. <laughs> okay, who's going first? I'll go uh, first. Okay. Go for it. Get out the road. <laughs> Get out the road. Can't be arsed, don't even want to be here, fuck. Exactly, <laughs> fuck you guys. Uh, I, you're a caveman and there's something that you need. You're a danger patch. So what happens is you put this on, it's like a nicotine patch. You've been a caveman, wouldn't understand that technology because you've not ever fallen weak to such things as tobacco. But you put the danger patch on and it gets warm on your skin. So seeing as that like big ass tiger behind you or whatever the fuck is in those eras, maybe Mammoth, uh, maybe David Hasselhoff, possibly Games Master, a, a shoe and a picture of probably Susan Sarandon, but those things are all dangerous, so if you use the danger patch, you put it on, it warms up to warn you of local danger, and you can hide your ass in its bushes, so what you need is the danger patch. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> there we go! We have the danger patch. <laughs> okay. I'm going to apologise to you three, first of all, because I use probably pretty much know what's coming. Because we've had this card before. Is it a jazz grenade? Is it a bomb? Is it a cock gun? How to sell it with a caveman? Oh, chat already know. That's a fair point. So who's next? Oh, chat doesn't know. Oh, yeah. That's clockwise. Clockwise? <coughs> clockwise. Therefore, next. This is the sales pitch. Two pack. Oh, man. Okay, well. <coughs> As a as a caveman, you're going to want to have the <laughs> the latest um, the latest findings, so you can be the top dog in charge of your people, take them places. And in order to do that, you're going to need a friend to screw. 
That's right. You, you, the friends group basically means you can pick anyone you like, um, make friends with them, and then you get to screw them as much as you want as well. It's kind of like the Mormon type, kind of early Mormon um, religion. <laughs> um, lots of friends, you screw them, and you're top cave person and the, the whole thing and you get to lead them wherever you want and nobody's going to um, argue with you because they're all your friends and that is the friends screw your perfect perfect situation brilliant sales pitch amazing <laughs> fucking fantastic um. <laughs> yes. absolutely outstanding isn't she lovely <laughs> <laughs> oh. no, All right. I've got his mine as well. Apparently, the orders are going to shit. Oh, oh, forgetting I'm not actually on a wireless mic. <laughs> <laughs> apparently, the order, apparently, the orders are going to shit. So, <laughs> D, you're up. <sighs> so, you're a caveman, huh? You're supposed to say yes. Chat say what yes. What's going on here? It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a try headed cock piece. <laughs> try cock. Well, it's a claw. I can't, really, I can't really sell against a try cock. Um, what, I, what I can sell though, however, is a crack star. <laughs> so as a caveman, often you're looking up to the sky and. Just discovered fire and you're like, I'm... How did you get cracks down? You focus on the word star. <laughs> <laughs> He's selling it, shush. <laughs> when that star falls down to the ground and he crushes it up, you get perfect crack. Uh, so what crack star actually is? I mean, you might be thinking quite a few different things here. I don't know what you TV might... station? I think you'll find this is my time for talking and your time for being quiet. <laughs> Oh, is death come again? Sorry. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. So, Crackstar, you may be thinking, what is Crackstar? I mean, it could have quite a few connotations. I mean, what is a Crackstar to a caveman? Think about it for a minute. What is it to anybody? <laughs> Another good question, I won't deny. What is it to you? That's the whole point about this. This, and when I say this, I mean Crackstar, is the same for a caveman. It's the same for you, Mr. K. It's the same for you, Stuart. It's the same for all of us. A crack star is when you're making love to a woman from behind, <laughs> outside your cave. You're looking at the stars and then seeing stars and then filling your cave woman full of spunk. <laughs> that uh, is a crack star. Wow. That is some powerful shit in every sense of the word. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So chat. Um, I hope chat is compelled by your, your wizardry and their amazing <laughs> crack star. He's got his own logo. <laughs> Put a star in your crack. There's a slogan. <laughs> oh, sweet Jesus of, Jesus of Nazareth. Um, Last pitch. Last I, pitch. I, I kind of feel like we need a bit of a like, like jiggle action going on here. <laughs> Last pitch of the night. Last bitch Dave, for the cave. Bring man. us the fucking bring us bring us back bring us home back with your Hitler card. Cop out, motherfucker. <laughs> I want him. I want him to find a fucking papa's grass.
<laughs> That's too good. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I was waiting on more, more grunt, I'll be honest. I was waiting on a. <laughs> <laughs> um, wait, to the chat wait, room. What are you waiting for, folk motherfuckers? <laughs> the chat room gets to call it. We need at least, what do we need? Three to. I don't know how many people in the fucking chat room. I think we need three votes in the one direction, that's what I call it. <laughs> is it? Oh, shit. Hold on, is somebody up. drawing like fucking like characters from galaxies on my side of the board? Or are they insinuating my penis is the size of my balls? Because that's only <laughs> slightly true. Leave it for your imagination. Like I'm just confused as to why it's yellow, because there's not a yellow player on the board. How did you do that? <laughs> Did somebody flip tables just to give me a small deck? <laughs> <laughs> you guys are sure you can change your colour? <clears throat> oh, you Zarak, you fucking sell out. I mean, absolutely your decision, then you can go with. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Go, we have one vote for the D with the, the crack star. The crack star. It's the market material, man. Does it every time. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get all the arrows at that shit. Listen. <laughs> YOLO. You only lubricate once. Yeah. <laughs> I need more arrows. In case it's not clear. <laughs> Okay, so at this point, Z is called his vote. J, what's your what's your vote? Bad job. Uh, Whoever the fuck's left. J has gone. J's gone for me. zarak has gone for D. And random <laughs> girl, gamer girl is going to be the deciding vote, which is a <laughs> terrible thing to turn up in this podcast. Yeah. yeah. I would apologise, but I don't think it'll be. I don't think it'll mean anything. <laughs> I think it. I, I I think at this point I will defer to the tentacolored one and allow him to flip the table. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was a win for Zane there. I'll be honest. What I like is the fact that lots of Yolo and arse pointing is still intact. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Arse pointing, who? That sounds like something that should be in the next Olympics. Uh, this is the, the 100 meters arse pointing. Yeah, it's like, and the balls are still standing. And on that note, <laughs> there are double no words. Our job is done. The podcast yep. is over. To and sleep. So the time is near. <laughs> for chance to fucking masturbate. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> this is what we do with our Wednesday night, so I'm glad you were part of it. I hope this is what we do on a Friday night, just nobody's watching. <laughs> on a Friday night we do this and you just don't even get to see it, that's the best bit. Uh, <laughs> and on that note, take care folks. <laughs> fuck, fuck, I forgot something. Thank God you remember to do that.